97 universal rod holder get it here at walmart all right so doing a doing an on the water review of the ozark trail rod holders you can get them at walmart they cost 10 bucks a piece i really have uh have enjoyed having these things they are so super adjustable they fit just about every rod i have um, so what i want to do right now is just kind of walk through the installation of these things and also how to use them all right so first things first is we're going to look at the gunnel here and we're going to see that this is probably where i would like to uh, to mount these rod holders i've already got rod holders that are set up right here on the side that are vertical but I want some rod holders to put on the side of the boat on the gunnels so while I'm fishing I can uh, set some rod holders out there so uh, I think what we'll do is put uh, two in the front and we'll put four in the back and uh, then we'll get going all right so the first thing to do is to find out where we where we're gonna put them got that done so now let's get these rod holders let's take a look at them all right so in the box we have the actual rod holder itself and then we have a couple of different mounting options. One is a vertical mount. You can see how it looks there and you can mount it to a vertical surface on your boat. So not only, not only can you mount this vertically, but it comes with this piece here that you can mount. So you can mount it on a rail. Like if you have a pontoon boat or you have a rail around, the, around your bow, you can use this. You can even mount it on the round part of a handhold that is on your center console. But what we're gonna use is this one here that is uh, that's going to end up being flush on the gunnel with a piece that's going to go down through the gunnel and then the rod holder will will be down like this so we can pull it up we can twist it anywhere we want to and then lock it in so we can put it out over the gunnel we can put it uh, running down the beam whatever we however we want to do and then this can put, be pulled out and stored over the winter so Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take this. We've marked the center of our gunnel. Now we'll drill a hole and then we'll drop this down into it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to find out halfway across the gunnel what the center point is where we want. And then we're gonna mark that. And now we're gonna have to drill a hole. Before you mount this, uh, you'll notice that on each of these flat pieces, there is an, th there is an arrow here. I have decided that that means that the arrow is going to point outside of the boat that way when i put the rod holder in it has an indicator and that's indicator is always going to be inside the boat so you can see the you can see the little slot right there so whenever i put these in i always know that is going to be inside the boat so let's go ahead put this in now to drill this hole you can use a spade bit what i'm going to end up using is a hole saw it's an inch and three eighths so this is the size hole that you're going to need to use Okay, now that all that is done, uh, go over a couple things. First, I did all of those flush mounts on the gunnel, but I also did, you'll see some vertical mounts on the back here and a flush mount here and there. That way I can put rod holders there or I can put them here, just depending on how I want how I want my spread to be with, with the lines. Baby, it's cold outside. All right, so now we've got a rod holder. Now we just slide that down into that and there we go and so now we're going to go ahead and do that all the way around the whole boat there they are let's go out on the water and test them so here you can see uh, this is now installed and now we can adjust the elevation of the rod holder so if i want my rod holder out and up i can turn it like that and lock this down slide it in there and then you can slide your rod down in it really handy if you want your if you want your rod at a lower angle to the water you can just unhook it lower it to the water and then lock this down pretty simple um, the rods come out easy. There's a hole. If your rod has a uh, trigger, a finger guide there, uh, once it goes down, the guide will be down into there, so it can't it can't go out. It's good and locked. You can also slide the keeper 
over so now it can't come out at all now it's good and locked in there uh, and unlocked and then you can take your rod completely out uh, if I wanted to adjust where my rod goes I can pick it up with it still locked in place and move it for uh, towards the bow I can rotate it back toward the stern I can have it out it's really really functional so what do I think about these uh, Ozark Trail rod holders I like them I like it a lot I like it a lot I like them a lot they're easy to stow they're easy to get off the gunnel um, they're easy to store rods in uh, right now I'm catfishing so I've got my catfishing rods back here uh, I like them I like it a lot they're easy to use easy to lock into so you know I think it's a great deal so for 10 bucks uh, for a rod holder, a whole lot cheaper than, than some of the name brand stuff. Ozark Trail just seems fine. It is plastic, so you probably don't want to store it outside in the sun, especially over the winter. Um, but I'm impressed. I think it's, it, it's, it's a great addition on my boat. I, uh, it comes with a variety of different mounts. You can mount them on the gunnel. You can, you can flat mount them. You can side mount, side mount them. You also can even mount them on, on, uh, handrails and, uh, stuff like that, like a torpedo, uh, rod holder so all in all great deal uh, I'm looking forward to using the hound out of them and uh, so if you need a rod holder on your boat I surely do uh, encourage you to, to give this one a good look see get out there fish have fun with your family make sure you make it to church on Sunday <laughs>